Okay, so here I am in QVS 13. The sample buffer is 128. Multiprocessing is activated. A guard is activated. It's in high. Um, 32-bit float processing precision. I have the, a East-West Opus Orchestrator open with the Full Ensemble Long and Full Ensemble Big Legato 3. And what I'm finding is that sometimes I'm getting not too bad performance, but if you look at the performance meter, the peak performance is spiking considerably each time I press a note. dropouts. Literally the only thing loaded is east-west opus. Again, audio dropouts. So next up I will load up Studio One 5.5 and do the same test at the same sample buffer and same sample rate. So here I am in Studio One 5.5, running natively on Apple Silicon. We've got the VST3 version of Opus running as well. Same patch, full ensemble long, big legato three. <laughs> So sitting comfortably at around sort of 20% full load, perfectly playable, no massive spikes like in Cubius. Next, I will try Logic. So here I have the same patch loaded up into Logic Pro. I'm very unfamiliar with Logic Pro, so I'm just trialing it might pick it up if I feel like it's okay, but so far my impression of it hasn't been that great. So yeah, performance is working fine there. I'm noticing that it's only using one core. I'm not sure if that's just it distributes it on one core. If I load up another instance, it'll distribute it to another core. So far, the performance in Studio One 5.5 seems to be the best, where it's just sort of under load is about 20% with one instance, which isn't bad. Um, at 128 samples. QBS, on the other hand, is very erratic and sometimes has audio dropouts and spikes and stuff, so I'm not too sure what to make of that. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And if you want to see sort of more content like this, where I take a look at the performance of different virtual instruments, like another one would be Contact. Um, and Spitfire Audio and things like that. 
So I might take a look at those and compare the performance between different DAWs at low latencies. But in my experience with QBS at low latencies has not been great at all with certain software instruments. So I'm hoping the Steinberg can get to the bottom of it. It's very disappointing that they haven't fixed this yet for QBS 13. I sort of waited a couple of years and reported performance issues to them, but it seems like nothing has really changed. So yeah, that's a bummer. So I'm, I'm actually seriously considering switching DAWs to uh, Studio One Five. I might check out Reaper as well and see what it's like. I'm not a huge fan of the look of Logic or the way that it, the workflow of it. It just it's not very intuitive for me, but uh, it seems to be performing okay. So here I have the standalone Opus Player in macOS. Again, just load up the orchestrator and I'll load up the same presets. So full ensemble long, big legato four or three. Three seem to be slightly heavier. Playing back, it can go anywhere from 30%, 20%, up to nearly 60%. But no issues with playback. Yeah. 